I plan on being an engineer at NASA. But I can't do that without taking them classes at that all-white high school. And I can't change the color of my skin. So I have no choice but to be the first. This is Janelle Monet, And yes, after breakthrough roles in award-winning films like Moonlight and Hidden Figures, you would definitely call her a great actress, but that's only half of the equation. She's also a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter. And for years, both of these art forms have fed into each other, making Janelle a truly one-of-a-kind entertainer. When Janelle first started churning out her own unique brand of psychedelic R&B in 2003, she was heavily influenced by her love of science fiction, especially Fritz Lang's German expressionist film Metropolis, which served as the title for her 2007 EP. This marked the beginning of a concept album series with heavy dystopian sci-fi undertones in which Janelle performed as sort of an alter ego, an oppressed android from the future named Cindy Mayweather first appearing on camera in the music video for her Grammy-nominated single, many moons. Janelle's quirky persona and electric style of music certainly helped her break into the world of film, like when she had her song What Is Love heavily featured in the animated film Rio 2. So what do you guys think? Boom! That's it! You in! Yeah. But more than that, the themes that she explored in her ongoing Metropolis series of albums about empowering those that have been overlooked in society began to surface in the projects that she chose as an actress. As an ally of the LGBTQ community, her debut role as Teresa in the Best Picture winning drama Moonlight was important to her, as she portrayed a character who acts as a compassionate mentor and mother figure for a young black boy grappling with his sexual identity. And stop putting your head down in my house. You know my rule. It's all love and all pride in this house. That same year, along with Taraji P. Henson and Octavia Spencer, Janelle helped tell the story of three black women who served a vital role as mathematicians during the early years of NASA in Hidden Figures. Janelle's character, Mary Jackson, was the more outspoken part of the trio who didn't think twice about fighting for what was right. Mary Jackson, Mr. Glenn engineering, and I'm proud as the devil to be working with you." Janelle's involvement in these projects served as crucial life experience that would partly inspire her to finish a more personal album of hers, Dirty Computer, which was released simultaneously with a 46-minute narrative film of the same name. And back to the acting world, her fascination with otherworldly themes and with the work of science fiction writer Philip K. Dick led to a pivotal role as Alice, a dispassionate android in an episode of the mind-bending anthology series Electric Dreams. So you folks tell me, what else should we be working on? Janelle has continued to drive home her positive messages of inclusion with the projects that she chooses. Whether she's helping Harriet Tubman fight her historical battle for freedom in Harriet, doing battle with Nazis in elaborate fantasy sequences in Welcome to Marwin, or just showing kids that it's okay to be different, as Mandy in Ugly Dolls. Show them it's our differences that make us shine. And besides lending her voice to Disney's live-action remake of Lady and the Tramp, she stars in season two of the Amazon Prime video drama Homecoming. I knew something was wrong with me, but I couldn't explain it to anyone. It's no surprise the amount of success Janelle Monae has achieved as a confident, unparalleled auteur. And whether she's expressing herself through empowering film roles or through her own electrifying style of music, her work will continue to stand out from the rest.